Start assembling the instrument. Line it with the slot and plug it in. Then tighten the nut. Same thing here. Bracket mounting. After you take the screws off, just hold it in place like this. You can fit brackets on either side. Put a big bracket here. The other side is fitted with a small bracket. The little bracket holds it like this. There's a power button at the bottom of the screen. Click to start. Click anywhere to enter the selection interface. Two options for operation. Single handle operation interface. The blue light on the back handle will glow. Adjust the direction of rotation. Switch between small and large rollers. Take the trumpet operation as an example. Select small handle. Speed regulation. Adjust the appropriate clinical time. Start and stop is also controlled here. M to M what parameter storage modes. For example, Rev9 and hit ME, click here again to save successfully. And this is the back button. Look again at the small and large handles. Interfaces that work simultaneously. You can see the size handle adjusting on one interface. Two handles can be started at the same time. Small handle cleaning, lit out. Then take the roller out and clean it. Align the slot and put it back in. Put on the cover again. There is no gap in the assembled state. That should do it. It is recommended to clean the roller by rubbing it with normal sealing. You don't need to open it often to clean it. The LCD displays the data. A blue light indicates first gear. Long press to stop. Press and hold again to start. Adjusting speed. Add a gear with each click. Demonstrate large handle cleaning. Use the same sealing solution. Just wipe the surface. If it's really dirty inside, it is necessary to disassemble and clean. I'm gonna tear it down. One button on each side. Let's simultaneously hold down. Pull out the top cover. Pull out roller. Clean the inside and the roller. Put it back in the same way as the handle. This axis, be sure to insert it into the round hole. As long as it spins properly, 